is up guys, it's Mr. B3Cube, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Uh, today I have a little sort of a spotlight on um, this giant uh, redstone screen that I made. Now, uh, don't let this facade of stone and glowstone fool you. This is quite a monster of a machine. Uh, it is fully programmable to whatever you'd like, has no command blocks, fully buildable in vanilla, and you'd have no point to do it in vanilla, so, I mean... Yeah, I don't know. Flip this lever here, and the creeper face pops out, because that's what we have a program to right now. I was too busy to uh, program the second one in. Uh, me, uh, me and Nick actually um, built this uh, in a live stream uh, recently. Uh, for those of you who do not know, Nick is um, my friend. He uh, His YouTube name is Tissesme, T-I-S-E-S-M-E, -S -E, I think, spelled like this so if you want to if you want to go subscribe to him I'll have a link in the description because he helped build this and uh, just look the lever again and it all turns off and now um, the redstone portion of it yeah this is just a, uh, a 16 by 16 piston array but each 2 by 2 counts for one pixel so this is an 8 by 8 display and you can see this thing is massive even though it only displays 64 possible pixels and um, it's fully programmable. All you have to do is find the blank spots right here, add a repeater or two. And as you can see, if I turn it on, there's gonna be two pixels on there that wasn't before. These two right here. I just guessed those at random, so um, just find them here because they are fully mapped out and there you go and if I wanted to do a different face all I'd have to do is I just have to take out and place repeaters wherever I felt uh, I liked them most and then the the picture would pop out right here I could do pretty much any 8 by 8 pixel art image I wanted and uh, I think it's pretty cool uh, and it is actually expandable too so you could do more than one photo at a time um, so as you can see it has um, the main screen right here right I'm gonna go into the how it works each individual part so there's two types of piston arrays I'm gonna say type A and type B type A is a very simple non obstructing array two repeaters two repeaters two redstone and then everything up here is powering it and then type B is two repeaters two redstone and a repeater over here and then that's powered by that so that way you can power it with one single piece of redstone or redstone torch or block or whatever you like and it powers that four piston array right here so these two by two and this is basically alternated over the course of s 16 pistons but eight layers because of eight pixels basically and then to isolate the um, these individual redstone strands you have to lead them up into a bridge here and um, it's not too hard just have to make sure that they're all expanded out and that they're all three blocks uh, gap in between to make room for the side roads uh, you want to make sure there's repeaters on every single one so that you know you can keep that redstone stream strong otherwise you know you can't power it now for the side roads basically in order to get access to this one right here or this line right here I don't want to have to spoon this thing all the way around I don't know if spoon is the right word uh, drag the wire that thing all the way around here I want to be able to just have it right from here so to wire this one up to that pixel over there all I have to do is modify that repeater right there and as you can see that's what happens because that one's connected over there and then uh, those are the bridges and then these are what's called the side roads the side roads are basically what connects it all together and they're maybe the hardest part to build not they weren't terribly hard and I don't think this design was exactly necessary either I think there are many uh, different ways we could have done this uh, uh, using like torch elevators or even uh, I think it would have been a much more compact um, fluid design um, and basically the um, the first layer goes out one has more repeaters uh, has a, a connecting thing right here to make sure the stream stays strong because it does go down from the longest to the shorter one to this one to this one and they're all connected via repeater so it goes in through there it powers that entire row down there goes up the repeater does that lane goes up the repeater that lane and so on and so forth and so what this allows you to do is to basically get all of them 
connected to one here. So one input equals that entire creeper face. However, you need two inputs because otherwise it's just craziness. So uh, as you can see, I have these two inputs. They go all the way over to here. And then uh, they go into a redstone uh, thing with Jigger I made over here. Where basically it's a torch thing. It turns off the torch, turns off both of them, which therefore turns off the display. So um, if you wanted to expand this or make it uh, more programmable, it is very simple to do. What you do is you'd expand, you'd place repeaters on these um, here. I'm just going to grab a repeater because I didn't really mean to grab glowstone. And really, you should have repeaters on the ends of these at all times anyway. Uh, when we built this, we didn't have um, expandability in mind. We were so tired from building it. It took us almost three hours to build. So, um, quite a massive machine. But uh, as I was saying, these uh, repeaters, uh, you'd extend out the line 16 blocks. So I would I would demonstrate, but it's too much time to take, you know. This is an overview video, not a how to build video. I'll do a how to build video uh, in, the, in the near future. But basically, you'd expand it out, put redstone along it, and uh, along every single one of these here. And then you put the side roads on so you can isolate every single pixel and move it to the right here, which is uh, from the screen side, I should say. And then once you build uh, all of that, then you can... Um, isolate that and build your own you can have multiple screens like I said um, and I would like to mention that this was um, uh, borrowed from I believe his name was Thomas Kraft on YouTube uh, I'll have a link to his video in the description on how uh, I used his guide to build it I also am going to be improving it a little bit because it was built quite a while ago and I feel like I could improve it a bit so that I can make it um, my own design versus someone else's design it's inspired by his design I should say um, but I think that's good enough for today, so I hope you enjoyed this overview of our giant redstone LCD display, uh, even though it's not LCD, so, yeah. But, um, uh, as always, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to be notified of future videos. Uh, watch me on Twitch, I post videos every now and then, uh, saying what I'm streaming, and I'll have a link in the description. Um, but as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.